Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, we're going to go over the pretty simple, easy to use DVD Ripper program and for converting to various file formats. And that is the Wonderfox DVD Ripper Pro. So if you're interested, there's a link in the video description of where you can get the software. There is a free uh, trial download basically with a certain time limit. I think it's 15 minutes. But if you're interested, there is a promotion going on that you could wish to, to buy this as well. So there's a lot of good details on this website, but I figure it'd be easier and faster just to show you what the software is, how it works, if that's something that you're interested in using as part of your DVD ripper kind of toolbox for your home media use. So let's go ahead, run the program here. And it's gonna show up momentarily here. I'm gonna insert a DVD movie into my DVD drive here on my computer while this loads. So in the main section here, it's going to ask you, please select a DVD source. So you can select a DVD disc, ISO image, or DVD folder. In my case, I'm going to do a DVD disc. Yes, this is correct. I'm gonna say okay. And then after that, it's gonna scan your uh, disc and see what movie files are there. It will automatically select the main movie over here. And here you can select what audio you want to use as part of your movie file. If you want any subtitles burned into it. And then if you wish, you can say edit. And then you can, um, you know, crop it out. Oops, crop it out to whatever portion of the movie you want, for example. Click on play so you know what you're getting yourself into. And then on the right hand side is the different video effects, basically. See that? So I'm gonna say cancel. I'm not gonna do that today. Give up all settings, yes. So let's assume that you got something good here that you selected. On the right hand side is the output format. So click on this icon. And here we have different settings that you can use. So let's say for example, you have an Apple product and you want to rip the movie for like an iPhone X, for example, it's like a preset. But in this particular case, I'm gonna do something else. Let's say video, and let's say I am interested in, uh, you know, MKV, for example. And then here is a slider tool. Do I want high quality and low speed? Or do I wanna adjust it to maybe low quality and high speed or something in the middle? So let's say high quality, low speed as an example. If you wish to fine tune it further, you can click on settings and change the different settings as you wish. But Keeping the original default with SmartFit should be an okay for usage as well. And then after that, all you gotta do, if you wanna keep the default output folder or change it, you can do so. Otherwise, click on Run. And then it's gonna do its thing. Depending on if you're ripping the whole movie, a tiny segment, you know, it could take, you know, 40 minutes or, or less, basically. Um, I've already gone through the process earlier today. I ripped a very short segment, so I'm gonna cancel this. But that's how that works. Once it's done, it's gonna have a prompt. It'll let you know, and then you're ready to have good times, basically. So let's go ahead and open my folder. And I have one example. It's not this MKV. It's this other test here I did, MP4. I'm gonna right-click and open Media Player so I don't have any issues. And let's see how it turns out. So this is a segment I ripped. Uh, it's like 10 minutes. Took about um, three minutes and 15 seconds to basically rip it and convert it basically. So that is that uh, how that works with the cropping feature. Like I said, if you all wish to have the whole movie, you could certainly do that, but I didn't wanna wait for like a 40 minutes or so to do that. So that is the Wonderfox DVD Ripper Pro. If you're interested, go to the video link, check out what they have. If you have other comments, other suggestions and other software that's worth uh, recommending to our viewers, to other uh, watchers, by all means, leave a comment here and let's discuss it. So that's today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave them a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.